Hello everyone, we're playing some more Pokemon Emerald. We're here on Mount Pyre. I think we gotta get a few of these goofballs and then we'll get to the top to do something. I'm assuming we'll fight the leader. I don't know. No, those Team Magma goons got here ahead of us. We can't fall behind. Alright, well let me uh let me set you behind. I'm great at that. At work in real life. I'll set everyone back. Here we go. Zubat. That's it? Alright. Uh, you, you want, you know, hold a few of these leaves for me? With your weird toothpick legs? I never understood Zubat's legs. How does he sit or stand? Does, does he just hang? Does he perpetually fly? I don't really understand. But, oh well. Alright, I thought you were one of the magmas who happened to come back. Nah, bro. Alright, double battle. Here we go. I totally forgot who's in my second slot. You! We saw you at Mount Chimney. You don't belong to either team, so why would you be here? Oh, I know. You tried to join Team Magma, but they wouldn't have you. Well, don't think we'll let you join our Team Aqua. Bro, I'm just I'm just here having fun, man. I'm not I'm not here for any particular reason. Alright, two. Two Pokemon for each. Let's do this. <clears throat> I got a tubby whale and a dog. Cool. Alright. Um, well. The tubby whale is definitely getting hit by a leaf. The dog. Oh, the dog can't be hit by sight. Okay. Actually, reverse. Reverse. We're going to hit Puchiana with a leaf blade. We're going to hit Wilmer with a psych because I can't hit Puchiana with a psychic move. It's impossible. So. I'll have to do a little... I'll switch her over here. Okay, put you almost to 37. Now, right, what's your secondary? You weirdo. Another Zubat. What's with these guys in Zubats? I feel like most evil organizations throughout history of Pokemon just, like, have Zubats. I don't understand their fascination with bats. Like... Honestly, I love bats as much as the next guy, but... Like, why? Alright, Zubat, you're getting... I'm gonna con I'm gonna do a Psychic. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a Concussion. Alright. Easy enough? Yeah, these guys aren't putting up much. I think I, I might be a little overleveled, I don't know, but... No problemo. If you're going to mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma. If you want to join Team Aqua, that badly we can consider it. Nah, bro, I'm good. I'm good, I'm chilling. I'm already on Team Mystic, you know what I'm saying? Yo, why are you guys harassing old people? Stop. That's weird. Team Magma Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The red orb preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. Now, we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Yo! Wait, we're not gonna stop them? We're just gonna let them dip? Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with the two orbs? Oh yes, was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it will be useful in some way. Okay. I'll probably let me get into their hideout or something eventually. Okay. Um... Man, I was hoping that I could fight Archie now. I kind of wanted to show him what was up, but... Sadly not. Alright, well, <clears throat> looks like we're all done here. So, what do we do? I mean, I can't go to here. I mean, I guess we could try to keep going this way, but I don't see how that would do me any good. Well, screw it. <clears throat> let me just walk down that path, and let me see what happens. If nothing happens, then... Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out, I guess. I don't really know the exact answer for you. 
Like I said, uh, I'm trying to play this game without guides if all possible. Like, I, I kind of just want to play the game. I don't want to spend all my time deep inside of a wiki trying to find what to do next. The only exception is what Pokemon I can find on each route. But, like, the actual storyline, I'm trying to, you know, do it by myself here. Okay, so... It's going to be kind of redundant here. And actually, you know what? Just for the sake of uh, keeping, keeping this whole video going here. Just go use a Max Repel. I don't feel like fighting a million Tentacool on our way down. So we're on Route 122. There isn't any Pokemon here other than Water Pokemon, so... You know what we can try real quick? Where is... Oh, no, that's the one I was looking for. Good Rod. Okay, the Good Rod is already selected. Look at this go. Like, holy crap, they expect me to do it like, quick. This game does not play around. It's exactly what I was looking for, actually. Exactly what I was looking for. I'm an absolute sniper. Alright. Uh, we're not gonna hurt it, because we will kill it. Maybe I could hit it with a quick attack, actually. But let's do this. One Ultra Ball. If it doesn't catch, we'll quick attack it. But I don't think it'll have to come to that. Yeah, I don't think it'll have to come to that. With Ultra Balls, they don't, they don't tend to escape too often. While this Pokemon usually lives in the sea, it can survive on land. Although not too long, it loses vitality if its body becomes dried out. So, you're saying, oh, but it can live on land. But then the next sentence is, oh, but by the way, it'll like die pretty quickly. So, it can't live on land. Living on land implies that it can stay on land. If it... What you're describing is being able to survive on land for like a few minutes <laughs> that's not living on land that's like me jumping into a lava and saying well i can live in a volcano yeah for about five seconds before i die maybe you know what i mean i feel like you know <laughs> definitions here guys come on read a dictionary i lay in ambush and a trainer has landed in my trap i just bought this parasol my cuteness should be up by a third. You can calculate that? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to provide me that formula. Yeah, and like references, and I, you know, I, look, I went to college, I, I took calculus too. I don't think I ever got up to this chapter, I'm just gonna be honest, so. You have to give me a little lesson on this one. Alright. Both of you guys are pretty dumb and weak, so, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I almost just dropped my water. That was almost embarrassing. I, I, I almost did it live. How embarrassing would that have been? Alright. Critical hit. Look at you go, dude. Not even effective, but still a crit. Nasty. If you don't lose, how am I supposed to have fun playing ninja? You're better than me by about five times. Yeah, I'm... I... Okay, I need... The, the math isn't connecting here. Right, I'm gonna need to see references. PP up. Love me a good PP up. What are you... Whoa, why are you so far? Being a psychic is all about willpower. I willed myself not to lose to anyone. That makes me strong. Yeah, I don't know, man. When I have my fist halfway down your throat, you might have to rethink about what your willpower can do. You know? Uh, Leaf Blade. I don't think it'll be super effective, but whatevs. It is super effective. Psych! I'm wrong again. Cameron. I feel sad. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have threatened me. Okay, I sense it. You and I shall battle again. Okay. Anything over here? Rare candy, alright. No problem. We'll definitely be saving those rare candies until late game. A uh, few berries? I'm in the mood for a little berry picking. Actually, I have some strawberries and blueberries in the fridge right now. I should probably go smash those, for real. I, I don't know about you guys, but... I always seem to buy, like, fruits and vegetables from the grocery store, and I can never finish them. I always just, like, think I want them, and then I don't, and then... Two weeks later, I'm like, oh... Oops. 
feel like I should go eat. finish my vegetables and fruits, you know? To Pekka Berries. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Let's give you a, per a person. I love Grass-type Pokemon. Do you have any Grass-type Pokemon? Oh, you like Grass-type Pokemon too, don't you? I'm so happy you can have this, a token of our friendship. Nice, is that is that a good move? Hmm. Okay. What did you just give me, lady? I really wish they would like tell me the move that they give me. Overheat, no. What did you just give me? Oh wait, 20. Oh get oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, this is huge. Hold on, hold on. This could be the nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Bullet Seed, you're getting out of here. Giga Drain, that's gross. Like, especially with the healing. <clears throat> oh, wow. And it only has 5 PP, but against, like, strong trainers, that could be disgusting. Okay. Um, I'm excited to see how that works for me in battle. Okay, so I gotta fight these nerds right here. Umpire, where the spirits of Pokemon sleep. Will your Pokemon sleep? When there are no trainers around, I let my Pokemon battle each other. I watch them. Alright, two each. Alright, what do you guys got for me? Ooh, Zangoose. That's cool. I love the purple claws. Hold on. Does Zangoose always have purple claws? I feel like that's... I've never... Okay, that's my TikTok. Let me do a little Leaf Blade on you. A little Psychic on you. Let me Google Zangoose. Does Zangoose always have purple claws? See? No. Look. I don't know if you can see. He has dark claws. Why are they purple here? I mean, I actually really dig the purple. I just don't... Why is his sprite different? Maybe they thought the purple was, like, it, did it, like, clash too much with the rest of his design? I don't really know. Yeah, I mess with Zangoose. He's pretty cool. His shiny's pretty neat, too. His shiny's blue. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a... I have Zangoose and Pokemon Go. I don't have the shiny, though. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, wait, no, I can, I can hit Shepard with a Psychic. Sviper is pretty neat, too. I definitely think, uh, the Sviper and Zangoose are, like, one of the cooler, like, like, what's it called? And they're, like, a pair Pokemon. You know, like, these two were made, kind of, like, for each other, you know? I think it's pretty cool. They're one of the cooler ones. Is they they've got that just slight bit of over design, like you you know for a fact they did like a little too much, but like just enough to where it's not weird. Like look at Survivor's teeth and tail, like that's over the top. It looks like a you know like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster or something, but it it fits. It's okay. It's not too much, and I pre and you know I appreciate those types of designs. Overflowing with vitality. I kind of like your Pokemon. And I think that's one of the problems with like a lot of modern day designs, is they tend to just be too simple, almost like we're going back to Gen One, or they're like way too much. Like a lot of like the what are the alien Pokemon that come out of the wormholes? Like some of those are a little weird, you know. Like <clears throat> you know, as much as I love my boy, like what is it, the Buzz guy, Buzzwool, Buzzwool? Like as much as I love him, that's not a Pokemon, man. Get that out of my face. That that's. That's a bodybuilder IRL. Like, come on. Or what's that? Eternum, Eternamus? Eternum, whatever? <clears throat> Might be a little too much for me. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, classically over-designed... Okay, <clears throat> maybe I'll get hate for this one, but... Um... <clears throat> the two dog things with, like, the sword in its mouth. Like, the legendary dog with its sword in its mouth. I think it's over-designed, personally. It's... Again, it's cool. But it just like doesn't feel like a Pokemon, you know? It's like it's a little too much. 
I know there's probably a few other better examples of over design, but I can't think of them right now. Then there's a the classic case of under designing when we're talking about Diglett's clone in Scarlet and Violet, the little it's basically Diglett that turned white and just went on a diet. And they just didn't change anything else, which was pretty neat. Oh, I wanted to fight that person. You seem to have a big collection of gym badges. Let me see if you're actually worthy of those gym badges. I don't know. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's got it. I think, you know, I've always wanted to make, uh, like a YouTube video on like my top 10 most disliked Pokemon. I don't want to spoil it, but number one might be that worm thing. Let me actually just Google it. Scarlet and Violet worm Pokemon. Where is it? This stupid thing. This thing. Whose stupid idea was this Pokemon? I'm just gonna be honest with you. What? What is this? How dare you make me pay for a game with this? Actually, I didn't even pay for it. Yeah, get that out of my face. See, like this thing? That's okay, right? Because it's different. It's a different Pokemon. That's okay, you know? Salad. Darn it, man. Um. Okay. So oh, we'll just try to get past the battle. Honestly, I might have to unparalyze because I yeah, being paralyzed sucks. I don't know how Leaf Blade is against Magneton. I know we've done this half a dozen times before. Okay, not very effective, but we got rid of it. Alright, maybe we should unparalyze ourselves here. Trap inch. Nah, we'll keep him out. We'll just We'll use a berry or something. Uh which which one of you Paralysis? Cherry Berry? I love me a good old Cherry Berry. Under the ground. Okay, bud. Whatever you say. And the thing that sucks is since I'm faster, I'm not going to get to hit this turn either. Yep. I'm faster. But. I am also faster. So he doesn't get to do it again. Is it a Wilmer? You can bring out a Wilmer. It's okay with me, with your stupid little smile. Do I look like Wilmer? Fun fact, they designed Wilmer after me. Alright, 44. Shushi, man, this guy has a lot of Pokemon. Doesn't it get tiring? Just getting one shot and swept again and again and again. Faint attack. Do I Giga Drain you? No, I don't. I'm very tempted to Giga Drain it. Maybe I should have just Giga Drained it. So I would have, I would have even gotten health back. Ah, oh, come on, seriously? I'm confused now. I'm Giga Draining you. If I get a shot, I am Giga Training you so good. Don't hit yourself. Good. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that... Oh. Okay, you know what, Salad? I understand. I get confused in real life, too. It's okay, you know? Sometimes you just gotta... Hit yourself. <laughs> no. Pause. Alright, we're getting out of here. Oh, you're worthy, alright. Yeah, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't need you to tell me that, to be honest. Um, okay. So there's things over there, there's things over here. I want, I want this item real quick. Revival Herb. Bro. I need to fight these two goofballs still. I'll turn your lights out while I rip through this tune. 
I have to tell you, bird Pokemon are my obsession. Birds are cool. They're the best. Yeah, they're pretty neat. I mean, I gotta always remember to turn my phone down, bro. I'm over here just blasting your guys' eardrums. Developer? Electric? Alright. Love me a big old bird. You can take that. Oh, you can hold that leaf blade for me. Uh, try to hold that psychic for me. Peck you pecked me? Gross. Don't touch me with that weird mouth of yours. Ew. Of course I didn't kill it. So I'm an absolute buffoon. Are you guys done now? 37. Uh, no. As much as actually I would love to, he's currently my HM homie, so... Hold it, I'm still playing the intro. Even in defeat, bird Pokemon are cool. Uh, lend your ears to a full tune. Nope. Uh, last thing I want to do is hear you play. Hi Dave, it's Jackson, catching up uh, a little while. Came close to nabbing one, but it got loose. Alright, take care. Alright, uh, Revival Herb. Do I do? Do I do? Uh, is there anything we can get rid of? S special defense? Yeah, dent here. I'm, dude, we're just building dent to be a tank at this point. Like, that's his That's his job. So I, I'm, I'm gonna need him to be able to take any form of a hit so I have time to revive. Another double battle. Don't be too happy if your Pokemon develop psychic powers. You need to refine those powers to make them really useful. Hello, child. Can you spare some time? Um, sure. What better things do I have to do than fighting you guys? Nothing would make me happy. Ooh, a little, a little Kadabra? Haven't seen one of those yet. Um, Beef Blade Psychic. Interesting happening on 120 to 123. Anything neat happening? I don't think so. Oh, Lunatone. It's cool. I, I love his little Ayasauron or whatever thing in the middle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Get this other Makuhira out of the way. Later. Yeah, cute little dumpling. Love, love me a good old dumpling. With some soy sauce. Ooh. A choke. Oh, he's in his like animation, just like sticks his neck out as far as humanly possible. But yeah. <laughs> Look at this neck length. Do something. He has a pretty cool sprite though. I'll give him that. That's one of, that's one of the coldest poses ever in, in any Pokemon. Uh, let's do a quick attack and a little confusion on you. Quick attack's not gonna kill, but the confusion will. I just don't want to use any more salads PP, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Gotta keep some leaf blades around for future trainers. Overwhelmed. A mighty, capable child, let me contribute to your allowance. Oh, thank you, man. See, I like that, and it's... Not that I won and I'm taking your money, is that you're like, wow, you're a good kid, here is some money. It's like, cool, thank you. I appreciate it, old man. You're the best. A little PP up. Have I fought you two yet? Oh man, I should be up there. What are we, route? Where are we now? Is this new? I feel like this is new stuff. Okay, well I have to fight these two anyway. Alright. Let's fight these two real quick. I hope your Pokemon won't cry when they lose. You know what? Don't worry about my Pokemon crying. Worry about me crying. I'm just going to be honest with you. How many you guys got? Just two? Oh, because you're like... I love it when there's like two people, but they're actually just considered a single trainer. I think that's great. Alright, two bugs? I can have the two bugs. Um... 
A little quick attack on that one. A little psychic on the other one. I think that should work. I mean, they're only level 26, so... Alright. Uh-oh. We lost. Yeah, you did. Alright. Here we go. Let's see what the Berry Masters got for us. Final Ultra Ball. Okay, question. If I had one of the nice bikes, I'd be able to hop over this. But sadly, I don't have the one bike that I need. Alright, where, where are we now? Route 118. Oh, and this is... is So, I'm just going to quickly double check. Is this like the conjunction between all the routes? I just want to quickly double check before I do anything. And again, have I seen the Berry Master? I don't think so. I think I might have just went straight. Bro, how's there encounter every five steps, dude? This game is crazy. I mean, I'm, you know, if I was Pokemon hunting or chain hunting or something, that'd be cool. But like, man, I'm just trying to get across the little patch. Yeah, this is a little conjunction. Okay. Well, we gotta head back. I'm gonna hit another. Oh, psych. I just dodged your encounter. Alright, you guys wanna fight? There you go. My confidence will get a boost by beating someone obviously strong. This is my awesome bug Pokemon. My big brother got it for me. Alright. Maybe I should pull out my hair across. I get get this this is a cool bug. Okay, you know what? Alright. Hey! Fair enough, I was fully expecting one of like the normal bug Pokemon. Not gonna lie. Respect, okay? Respect. He pulled out something that okay, you know? Pincer? Probably one of the best bug Pokemon of all time. Can't say nothing. Alright, kid, you won. I admit it. You won. Alright? Take this respect. Absol? Ooh. I didn't know I couldn't hit Absol. Absol's a dark type Pokemon. Of course I can't hit it with a psychic move. Bro. I don't have any PP left. Okay, you're getting Giga Drained. Uh, I'm gonna growl at you. Grr. That's not gonna do much, but... Yeah. Honestly, I needed some HP anyway. Thank you. I was looking... I, I needed to be topped off. I'll just use your life essence to, you know, boost mine. There goes my confidence. Wow, you meanie. I mean, kid, you have a cool bug Pokemon, okay? Stop crying. You're sounding, you're sounding a little weird now. They say that good times are filled with good aromas. I 100% agree. Dude, there are just certain smells. Like, I don't know what's with smells. Like, it's kind of the same thing with music. There's just, like, certain smells or certain music. Musics? That just, like, bring ultimate happiness. Like, it sounds weird. So, I, I work at a hospital, right? Most of the, like, 99% of the time, hospital smells aren't good smells, right? Like, naturally, they're not gonna be good smells. But, there's just random moments where, like, someone walks in, and they just have, like, this, like, random weird smell that you only smelled one time in the summer of 2008 at your friend's house. And it's like, just like a nostalgia or something. And you, all of a sudden, you like have an existential crisis. Like, dude, what am I doing with my life? You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but yeah. So, on in, in the summary, I mess with smells. <clears throat> don't paralyze me. Yeah, yeah. Get hit, okay? Don't don't ever touch me again. Or Spray me with your spores. Ugh. Oh, well, I smell the bitter scent of misery. Okay. Alright, Berry homie, what do you got for me? You may call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You deserve of one. The Tomato Berry, huh? Very creative. Why be stingy? Take another the Magost Berry. Be sure to visit the pretty petal flower shop near Rustboro. Let flowers fill the world. The way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me so proud that he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard a good saying lately? I have heard a good saying. 
Let's go with... Uh... Kindergarten. Um... Speech. <laughs> Kindergarten. As if. Sure. We'll go with that. Ah, good saying it is. You're quite remarkable. I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate it. I want you to have this. The Ross Berry. Thank you. Kindergarten. As if. Our four grandchildren should become more accomplished than my husband. Joy never goes out of my life. Okay. Can I pick all your berries? Oh, look at all these juicy berries. Okay, here we go. Okay, the berries have been planted. And... Hold on. Is there an item here? Item? What? Okay. There's usually items in those types of places. Hold on. Do... See, here's the thing I've been wondering. Do I need to specifically use the item finder before picking something up off of the ground? Let's take a look. No, okay, so there isn't anything. <laughs> Bless me, thank you. Uh now I'm confused. <laughs> because I don't actually know what to do. The ferry isn't open. What do I do? Well, let's just get back to a town. Hopefully with not too many more encounters or I'm gonna swing at something. And I have a feeling I might have to start using my noggin. But we're gonna do that next video, guys. Thanks for watching.